I grew up in the Southwest and we lived in the middle of nowhere between El Paso, Texas and Carlsbad, New Mexico. The love of it was actually displacing other things. Um, th the drawing made up for the lack of having a girlfriend, being able to drive a diesel, being able to fly a jet, being able to do a lot of things. So a lot of those things that I didn't have the uh, bravery to do, I would draw them and it felt like I was doing them. So art kind of slipped through the back door. It was um, something that became concrete, I think, mostly in high school. But I had loved it prior to that, but it was very subliminal. Um, but it was after I left high school where I told myself, if I'm still drawing, after a year, I'm going, to con I'm going to continue to do it. I moved out of the out of my house to Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, for the sake of drawing the real human being. Once I began to uh, mix with a lot of other artists that were actually doing it in a much larger city, in a little bit more liberal city, I saw that I was able to that I had it, and I that year spanned, and I knew that I was going to do it but I didn't know how the hell I was gonna go about making it happen, so. How'd you make it happen? Uh, accident, a lot of probably hopeless optimism <laughs> without even maybe ignorance, but just trying to make each drawing better and better. And I would probably say having the masters cast a big shadow over me that I felt warm under that helped me grow.